Springtime in Seoul is simply magical. After about five months of frigid temperatures, Korea awakes from its winter slumber and really just shows off the most amazing natural phenomenon, the Prunus cerulata. You might know them simply as cherry blossoms, but one thing is for sure, they are jaw-droppingly beautiful. In this video, I'm making it my mission to document the cherry blossoms in three different locations across Seoul with three different Fujifilm JPEG recipes. The first area that I'm visiting today is Hapjong, towards the west of the city and very near one of the more popular districts, Hongdae. I've seen a lot of cherry blossoms during the six years that I've lived in South Korea, but there's something quite intriguing about finding the blooms in residential areas like these. They really change the character of the neighborhood completely. So let's talk recipes because that's probably why you're here. For this location, I'm using my Springtime Pro Beer recipe. I actually created this recipe in 2023 for the exact reason, or this is this exact reason, and that is to document the change of colors that come with the change of season. To me, Provia is just such a wonderfully versatile yet often overlooked recipe, I feel, because it, render, it renders gorgeous pastel colors that other sims don't quite manage to capture. Pinks, purples and blues come out really pleasing with this recipe so it's no surprise that it firmly occupies my C1 slot and almost never changes. I also want to say that while I would class this as street photography, I don't think that there is anything particularly special about these images in terms of the story they tell. Make no mistake, the cherry blossoms are the focal point here. And, you know, for sure, you could call this, uh, you know, documentary photographer if you were to class it in a specific genre. Just a quick word on the gear that I'm using for uh, this location and the next and of course I've got my XS10 and I've paired it with my Sigma 18-50 uh, uh, f2.8. Uh, the reason being is that I really just wanted the versatility of a zoom for these kinds of scenes. Uh, I didn't think that taking a 23mm with the Voltrox lens that I've got or the 85 would have given me the flexibility that I wanted in order to capture a variety of different scenes. Moving on to our next spot which is Soul Forest. Now, this is a sprawling man-made urban forest located north of the river, slightly towards the east of the city center. There's one particular spot that I'm looking for here, which is a slight walk of about 10 minutes from the main entrance. Once again, I found the spot thanks to Instagram and I had no doubt that it would absolutely be packed. But along the way, I stopped for a few more shots of subjects, just enjoying the forest and the surrounds. My recipe of choice for this session is a recipe called Cuban Negative by Osan Bilgi. Uh, and I've been intentional in using different simulations for each uh, different location that I visit. 
I first came across this recipe on the Fujifilm Facebook groups, which to be honest are a great resource for both beginners and experts. Being based on the classic negative uh, film sim does give it quite a hard tonality and combined with the distinct red cast in these shooting situations renders a very unique look. While it might not be my first choice recipe for this kind of situation, I would absolutely consider this for more urban photography or slightly different settings. As expected, this location was absolutely teeming with people, really packed, and this is just something that's very typical of uh, South Korea and Seoul, uh, these attractions that, you know, people flock to uh, in order to get their shots. But, you know, there is something good about that in that you do have lots of opportunities to find different sorts of scenes. If you are enjoying this video then I would humbly ask you to drop a like and perhaps subscribe especially if you are uh, curious or interested in joining me on this journey as, journey as I discover the Fujifilm ecosystem uh, as using it as a photographer and videographer all while showing you how I spend my downtime here in South Korea. <laughs> originally intended to shoot this video in one day but due to time limits I had to postpone this final location by a couple of days. And this location is Hyoido Hangang Park, one of the parks along the banks of the Han River in Seoul. This is less of a street shoot and actually a client shoot so because of that I didn't manage to full much b-roll so this section is mostly going to be images from the shoot. Today I'm using the Voltrox 85mm, just an absolutely gorgeous lens for portraits thanks to the compression and pretty fast as well. For this last set we're going to go with another custom recipe of mine, one that I call Daily Greens and it's based on the Astia simulation. This is another stalwart recipe and one that simply shines especially during shooting in spring. Astia just does such a great job of boosting saturations in the greens but even for these kinds of bright scenes just nails the tonal balance perfectly. Mm -hmm. 